Well, the Edge Center in Big Fork has been bringing creativity to the small community for over a decade now. Lakeland News reporter Sherelle Moore tells us how it's inspiring people to break into the spotlight for this week's In Focus. It's just a great space to create, and people come in here and they, they feel creative. They want to, they want to make art. With the 288-seat theater and a gallery open to artists from all over the state, the Edge Center has made Big Fork, a town of 400 people, a must-visit for all creatives. It's great because I retired up here and found this place and uh, was thrilled to find it. And all of the people that work here are volunteers. We only have one um, part-time paid staff member. Otherwise, everybody volunteers their time. Every month, there is a new featured exhibit, not to mention theater productions put on by Big Fork community members. With things changing every month, you're bound to see something new every time you visit. I draw inspiration from the environment. I'm, you know, I'm an environmentalist, I guess, if I was to say it, uh, kind of paint about the human relationship with the natural world and, you know, uh, alternative energy sources and things, uh, our relationship with animals and humans are animals, that sort of thing. So that's the kind of stuff that gets me excited. The Edge Center is connected right to the school in Big Fork, so you can imagine that there are a lot of student productions that go on here. Over the years, the Edge Center has grown into something more than just a place for the schools. Now it's a place where everyone in the community can come to break out of their shell. Before we built the Edge Center, we were pretty sure that it would be used by the school and by the local community theater group, and we had no idea how much this theater is used. Staying on the cutting edge of the new and the now has been the center's goal ever since it was built in 2005. The many volunteers who put their time and heart into the edge hope to keep it that way in the future, while also inspiring more creativity in the Big Fork community. I really do believe it has stimulated arts. Um, people think, well, there's a place here that honors painting, and I kind of like painting. Maybe I'll take it up again. And then they turn out to have, uh, you know, fulfilled and enriched their lives because the place is here. Reporting in Big Fork with this week's In Focus, Shra Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.